I got a uh, SSM 2056 envelope generator chip here. Um, it is in a uh, very simple breadboard uh, circuit right now. Um, the output is this yellow wire at the bottom, or it actually it's the top. Um, and let me turn this uh, camera around so that we're looking at it from my perspective. Uh, the yellow wire on the bottom is hooked up to a uh, oscilloscope probe. The trigger is coming from uh, well, I think it's pin uh, 6 here. Um, the trigger is a 5 volt uh, gate. It's coming from the switch right here. Kind of hard to see but I have switches here. And uh, when I turn this switch on it gives me 5 volts that goes across there. Um, attack, decay, sustain, release um, is the uh, controls that I have up here, these potentiometers. Uh, they're basically just 10K potentiometers on a, uh, and I've got a 5 volt voltage rail above them that they tap into so that they uh, have a 0 to 5 volt uh, uh, control voltage coming out of each one there. Um, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to put my hand on this switch here, and then we're going to go over to the scope, which is right here. Let's see if I can't get it to focus on the screen a little better for us. And I'm going to turn the switch on. And we're going to watch it go through as transients. So that's release, final release. Uh, according to the data sheet, they call it uh, attack, initial decay, release, uh, sustain, and then final release. Uh, or final decay, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, um, try and slow it down a little bit. And then release. So I'm going to go ahead and do the attack, decay, sustain. Now I'm going to move my hand over to the sustain control. And you can see I can control the sustain position simply by moving the knob. Um, I don't want to mess with the attack, decay, and the release. Uh, they're a little sensitive uh, right now um, and in order to make this simple uh, and short I'm just going to keep the those uh, where they're, they're at um, let me turn the attack all I mean the uh, sustain all the way up here I'm going to shut the gate off I'm going to turn it back on it was pretty quick then I'm going to release I'm going to turn the uh, sustain back down a bit. And then I'm going to run it through its, uh, see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to a form of storage. In a, it's a high persistence mode. I'm going to turn this sucker down. see if we can't watch it uh, actually make a curve or uh, a ramp of sorts. Yeah. Looks like I need to turn it up maybe a little bit. Here we go. Sorry for the jittered video. Let's try this again. And turn it off. On. Looks like I just need a bigger screen, huh? Let's see if I can't turn this down a little bit. There we go. Maybe that happy medium right there. Now, that gives you the idea. Try again. Yeah, I 
just wish this, I could get it on right across the screen better. There's a better, a faster attack. I don't know why that ripples in there. There's something in my power line or something going on. It's all the ripples in there. It usually doesn't do that. I have another video that shows it much smoother, but uh, it's very long and boring. Um, anyway, that shows that it, you know these uh, chips indeed do work, and it's kind of interesting to see them uh, in action on the scope. Um, let me turn this back on for a moment. The sustain way up there, right about middle, and then I was trying to see if I could get a good. It seems I want to attack right at the same spot every time. There we go. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of cool.